so the first thing that you do is actually you just you know create your own jupyter notebook like this one and then you run through you know all of these steps like understanding the features blah 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 feature exploration training and testing and everything and uh, once you do all of these at the end make sure that you know you combine all of these into a single function in my case i have named that function as testing so this function will take your input file and it will take your model path you know the model that you've already trained and then it is going to you know do all these fill the null values or whatever you know whatever operations you want to do and finally this function is going to create this results data frame which you're going to later just return right and so it will look something like this right now we are going to take this function out and then we are going to create an uh, app module uh, you know and then i'm going to run and then we do the next steps created an im role called aws deployer and i just gave it these three accesses administrator access amazon ec2 container registry full access aws lambda full access technically i'm not really sure if you need the administrator access but then for this tutorial uh, i'm just going to make it easier right so this is an A aws deployer role and also logged in through the aws deployer im role Right. We will uh, now in the next next step we will go to Elastic Container Registry and here we are going to create a new repository just for the sake of the tutorial. So I'm going to type tutorial repo. Okay, this sounds good and it's going to be private. Nothing will change here. You create this repository. <coughs> Successfully created repository. Very good. Then we just go here and we do view push commands now now in this case you need to make sure that you have the aws client installed and it has to be the latest version you know so you just maybe like just google aws client latest version you install and you will find the link and i think you can you know uh, do it yourself and then also make sure that you have docker desktop uh, downloaded and then you just uh, copy this command and just uh, let me just clear this out okay and then you just paste this command and you make sure that you are in the directory where the app is stored so what is this directory this is nothing but the fast api directory where you have the app.py file and the docker file and the requirements.txt file and the uh you know this is the uh, training training uh, saved training model right so after you are done okay so when it comes login succeeded that means you are done right and you are now connected to the docker so just before creating the docker uh, just make sure that you have everything right so this is created using python 3.10 then make sure that requirements.txt file is copied inside the docker container then you have to run all the requirements in the target. Then you have app.py file, which has to be copied. This is this essentially is a command which copies everything inside this folder. But I have not had a good experience using this because uh, when I try to debug further, I found that this command is uh, has left out some files, you know. Uh, but then even then, I'm just putting it anyways, right? And also copy this file. So. I have written individual commands like copy this file and copy requirements dot text you can instead use this one but i have not had uh, all the files in the docker container due to this command right this is ready and how does your app dot py look like so your app dot fast api app looks like everything just uh, as expected normal then what you need to do is you need to import a mangum and you need to create a handler for your app so app is like fast api app and then uh, a handler for your app called mangum and then app dot post here you will you know have the predict this is the function that we are very interested in predict right so it will take as json as a request and then it will do all these adding null, va null values and everything and all the operations and finally it will give a data frame which i'll convert into dictionary right so yes 
so let's move move ahead then and we just uh, go to the elastic container we copy this command okay this this was done then we copy this command and now we paste this command right. so it's going to take some time to build the docker container it's perfect so the docker container is built it's perfect then we just take this repo and we connect it that's done and we just push this docker container now to our repo so this is gonna take some time Okay, uh, now we are going to go to AWS Lambda, right? So we just go to Lambda and we'll create a new function just to show you guys. And this function we are going to create using a container image, right? Which we built. And let's name this function as tutorial function, okay? And the container uh, image will come from here, right? So tutorial repo and the latest it's perfect and is there anything else everything seems good just keep all the other details as for default and create this function it takes a while perfect now it's, it's still creating perfect so the function is created uh, we need to do one change here because there is no way for the test code that we wrote right so this is the test code that we wrote and this is written in like fast api and we are exposing it as like predict and there's one thing handler is something that uh, you know is a function which evokes when you use aws lambda and for that handler we are using mancom app right so here uh, the function which we want to evoke this app we are going to use app dot handler right so that should be our cmdo right so let's go here let's type app dot handler that's it save this okay let it just update take some while perfect now it looks updated then we are gonna let's say just test so let's create a test let's call it t1 and we are going to use api gateway aws proxy so what is the path path is nothing but here you see let's if we want to test predict then we are going to use this otherwise we can use slash get information or whatever so in this case we are going to use predict and see if things are working as expected predict predict post and then we are going to change the path everywhere to predict predict and so there are like two places and three places where we need to change okay so predict perfect and after this is done then we just uh, test it and see if things work as expected perfect execution execution complete so that means the function is getting executed now we can go ahead and create the url right so we just go to where is the url we just go to this function go to tutorial function and configurations okay it's perfect here we have a function url create the function url authentication type we want none for now and uh, let's just save it 
okay so we have a function url perfect now we just uh, go on our postman right and we let's say we put our function url and we write predict then we just gonna take like an input from your let's take this as an input whatever format input that you have right go on body take raw put this input here and let's see method not allowed oh that's strange why is it coming method not allowed 405 error okay sometimes it takes a while you know to have everything perfect anyways public anyone can access your url okay let me just check now okay so it's like a post request sorry <laughs> right i think this should work it's perfect it works it gives us the probability of default the one which we have coded and yes you have this url and we have successfully deployed our end-to-end -end machine learning project on aws lambda so the thing about this url is you can actually monitor it how many hits have it has been and you know and how many a uh, lots of things are there you can check it out and yeah and you can connect this url to your website or whatever right so thank you thank you